Is a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption imminent? A geophysicist explains. Pocatello, Idaho. After the largest ever recorded hydrothermal vent erupted in Yellowstone National Park last month, many are wondering if a supervolcano eruption is imminent. In short, experts say the answer is no. To find out why, as well as what the real warning signs are, EastIdahoNews.com spoke with Michael Poland, a research geophysicist at the Cascades Volcano Observatory and current scientist at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. The Biscuit Basin explosion could be the kind of thing that happens every decade or so on average. Smaller hydrothermal vents occur several times a year in parts of Yellowstone, Poland said. On July 23, a hydrothermal vent erupted in Biscuit Basin, a popular and heavily visited part of Yellowstone National Park. The blast sent steam and debris hundreds of feet into the air and threw grapefruit-sized boulders tens to hundreds of feet away from the blast. Although park visitors were present at the time of the blast, no injuries were reported. Trails near the blast were destroyed. Most of the time, hydrothermal vents occur inland and are only noticed by hikers or geologists. The Biscuit Basin eruption occurred near a geyser basin that is heavily visited during the day. Hydrothermal vents are caused by boiling water, which causes steam to build up beneath the surface and crack rock. Poland explained that this explosion is not a reflection of what is happening underground. There is no contact between magma and water that triggers this explosion, Poland said. I think a lot of people would immediately think that there's magma rising. If that's the case, we'd see a much different signal. It's important to note that if Yellowstone erupts, it's not necessarily a super eruption. The most common type of eruption, the last one happened 70,000 years ago, is a lava flow. Poland said it wouldn't look like the eruptions on TV. It's really thick, like a paste, and it's very large, Poland said. He described it as looking almost like a pile of debris moving across the landscape. Rather than deter people from visiting Yellowstone, Poland could see lava flows that would draw visitors. Because lava flows don't move at tremendous speeds, they can be observed by tourists from a safe distance. It's not safe to be near them. There's always the potential for an unexpected explosion of magmatic gases, Poland said. For a major eruption to occur, the volcano's magma chamber, which is mostly solid, would have to push magma to the surface. This would be associated with a tremendous amount of seismic activity. There would be a lot of earthquakes, a lot of felt earthquakes, Poland said. There will also be dramatic ground deformation. The uplift from magma rising to the surface will be dramatic, and you don't need instruments to measure it. You'll be able to see the places where it's rising, Poland said. People will also be able to see gas emissions, and changes will occur throughout the park's geyser system. Poland assures us that Yellowstone is not going to erupt tomorrow because they haven't seen the warning signs. If the warning signs do occur, it will likely be years before it erupts. Geologists around the world will go crazy, as will everyone who lives and works in and around Yellowstone. There will be pretty obvious changes, Poland said. Geologists will also have to figure out how to measure the data and answer the key question. Will it lead to an eruption? Poland said. That's an important question. With so many volcanic crises, many volcanoes don't quiet down and go back to sleep. The pyroclastic flow area of the volcano will be within 100 miles of the eruption. 
Those in the worst-case scenario of ashfall, which could blanket most of eastern Idaho with more than three feet of ash, will have to decide whether to stay or move. Poland said it's misleading to say Yellowstone is due to erupt, and that the claim is based on the park's last three explosive eruptions, which have been occurring at an average of 725,000 years apart. Somewhere along the line, someone decided that there was a 600,000-year gap between them, and since the last one was 631,000 years ago, we're overdue, Poland said. Poland said three eruptions is not enough data to determine the true average between events. <laughs>